Welcome back queens! Today's video is all about why these influencers are lying to you. I'm not talking about anyone specific, not trying to hit on anyone, bash on anyone, but I'm just trying to get us a bit more aware because I'm already sure that we're already aware of these things. Although, I just want to bring it to your attention a little bit more. I am not wearing any makeup for this video. I only have a bit of um, eyeshadow on and it's mainly just because I want to be free. I don't feel like wearing makeup right now and I just want to talk to you as one beautiful queen to another beautiful queen. I do have light here so I really hope you can still see my beautiful pimples that are coming around and I think it's because it's the time of the month so <laughs> welcome 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 you're they're not here to stay they're just here for a visit I truly feel like as I said before that we are now more aware of retouching like unfortunately Beyonce's big fail Photoshop trying to make her thighs look skinnier than they already were now the problem isn't with people editing because we can start to kind of see when people have edited it's quite obvious so now what celebrities and big influencers have done is they have hired retouchers now this has been a professional job for many years now it's only been now that it has been super popular you can literally hire someone to only retouch your images now what this does is it makes it look like you you look normal but with a bit of tweaking. Now that's when the danger comes in. As you can see from this beautiful image of Kylie Jenner, it looks like it's her real skin, right? You can still see the slightest amount of lines, a little bit of grain on the skin, but it has been retouched because when you see videos of her, you can also see the difference in her skin. I feel like the best way to see her properly is on TV, but even in saying that, they do now have video editing retouching which i think is completely like crazy because it's like how can you really tell how someone looks unless you see them in real life but i mean it is what it is you can really notice when you move with the video retouching i know kim kardashian did an under eye corrector video and i believe that when she did um, her right eye i believe you could kind of see a little mask come off and on and that is the effects of when you have a retouching or editing kind of vibe on your video it's quite sad because we want to see real skin real people to advertise to these real people because real people are buying it right but anywho moving up past their point <laughs> there's this retoucher named Tum Tuma Tumak Tumak I hope I'm not saying your name wrong his work is absolutely beautiful and one thing I admire about his work is he also shows the different retouching styles he does. There's this one image. I absolutely love the overline lip of Jules. I feel like low-key I'm going to do something similar because it's just inspo. And when you flick across, you see how her real skin looks like absolutely gorgeous now obviously he is also using professional lighting which makes a huge difference because the makeup you do in real life with all these lights compared to a natural light is completely different as well there's this video as well at how he shows you how slightly he's retouching so it still looks like skin but not really and i feel like that's where a lot of people get disheartened because you look at this image and be like oh my god this actually looks like skin there's something wrong with my skin I'm not pretty enough I'm gonna buy thousands of dollars of products to try to look like this it doesn't work what is wrong with me you literally start to feel like there's something wrong with you and your skin but I'm here to tell you there's absolutely nothing wrong with you and your skin it's just that all these amazing celebrities that have the money for it and want to I guess portray that image are paying people to retouch their image so it looks natural but also to look better than natural I don't know if that's how I was meant to put it I hope this is making sense to you let me know in the comments below if it's making sense because I hope you try it you're getting where I'm getting at with these other beautiful celebrities you see the actual texture skin makeup can't hide anything it can help cover but it won't hide what our, our skin already has so if you have a bit of lines if you have a bit of a little beautiful blemish it can hide it but it's still going to be there please don't be disheartened when you see these celebrities or influencers post you know their no skin makeup routine because usually they are actually having a filter on or you know new brand skincare 89 percent and i'm sorry to say this but even jlo the queen has filters has retouching 
I guarantee you she's not only putting coconut oil on her skin or whatever the oil that was because honey I tried it on dance sink it really works there are other things that we can do but she also wants to portray that natural beauty flawless whatever that meaning is image if they were to actually post their face raw just with lighting how much better would that be of a selling point? But anyway, that's a whole other thing. I'm just I'm getting carried away. I just want you to know that retouching is so real now. And like I said in my other video, Toxic Beauty Sense, I'll list it up here, that we need to start doing a hashtag when things are being edited or retouched. I think that will really start to help people feel a bit more co like confident knowing that, okay, this image has been retouched. I don't know what, but it's been retouched. So that isn't really normal, right? Because normal is skin, normal is gorgeous dark circles if you have them high five, you know, some lines. We've, I've got smile lines. I've got three pimples that have been here for about a month. And this gorgeous thing that popped up yesterday that I just noticed. <laughs> it's normal, it's normal and it's beautiful. And the more we embrace it, the more confident we feel, the more we're gonna portray that confidence to other beautiful queens like yourself. And it's just gonna be a ray of beautiful queens. And that's what we want. <laughs> Thank you, my loves, so much for watching. I'm going to end it off here because I really just wanted to talk a little bit about retouching and why and how people do it. I work backstage at Fashion Week and every single model had absolutely beautiful skin. And obviously with the lighting, you can see in these images, they look flawless, right? But obviously as time goes on, they get really oily. we got to powder them up. The, the way the, um, they photograph in different lightings changes it up as well. You can't act like skin is meant to be like flawless schnizzle back we can only do so much with surgery and we don't even know half the things they actually do with beautiful beautiful filters and all that kind of jazz hence why i don't edit any of my images and if i do you'll be the first to know because i will let you know in the comments and or in the hashtags so i love you all my beautiful queens Please do not forget how gorgeous you are, how special you are, and how beautiful your skin is. No matter what skin type you have, it is absolutely incredible. And we're all here on a journey. I love you all so much. Keep slaying and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.